The Desert Tech Microdynamic Rifle, or MDR for short, is a family of bullpup rifles first introduced at SHOT Show in 2014, with one of its most unique aspects being fully ambidextrous and multi-caliber capable, something not often seen with bullpups. In Airsoft though, Silverback has had a long-running partnership with Desert Tech, dating back to their excellent SRS series of sniper rifles, first released in 2015. And now, their long-awaited MDRX is the next step. Hi, I'm Andrew, and in this week's video, we're reviewing the long-awaited Silverback Desert Tech MDRX, which, like other guns, had been significantly delayed due to recent global events. As mentioned, this AEG is a replica of the MDRX, which is the latest third generation of the MDR family in its 7.62 by 51mm variant, and Silverback has included many design features that advanced players would definitely appreciate. So let's get to it, shall we? Now on first impressions, the most obvious thing that stands out is that this rifle is a bullpup, with the magazine situated behind the trigger. Now, as a native bullpup user myself, Fire. this is a welcome change of pace, though bullpups are like Marmite. You either love them or hate them, and they really do divide the community sometimes. The externals of the MDRX are solid, with a lower receiver and handguard made of a high-strength polymer and an aluminium upper receiver all connected with numerous screws and takedown pins. This particular rifle is the two-tone version, though it does come in black and tan, all of which are chock full of licensed Desert Tech markings, just like the real thing. On the front, we have an aluminium muzzle brake on the front end of this impressive 16.5-inch free floating barrel that extends right through the length of the entire gun. Now, behind that, we have the polymer handguard that features a monolithic top rail and three M-lock slots on the three, six, and nine o'clock positions. Move over to the top and you'll notice that despite the full length monolithic rail, the Silverback MDRX does not have any iron sights. This being a dedicated DMR, players will need their own optics, so do keep that in mind. We also have an ambidextrous dummy charging handle located right here. Now, it doesn't have any function as it's an AEG, but as it's present on a real rifle, it's a good detail to include. Do note though, the interesting H&K style bolt hold, where you can just give it a slap to release. Further back, we have the ejector ports, which are pretty special. You see, many bullpups cannot be fired left-handed due to the risk of brass being ejected directly into your face. The MDRX, however, bucks this trend by having the brass eject forward through this little port over here, allowing the rifle to be fired from any hand. But the covers can also be switched around depending on your preferences. Now obviously brass ejection doesn't really matter on an AEG, but if you look inside the ejection port over here, you'll find the MDRX's rotary hop-up adjustment dial. It's very, very sturdy hop-up with 36 different adjustment positions for the hop, and it definitely will not slip during play. It's also quite stiff, so I actually recommend removing the ejection port entirely on both sides so you can use both fingers to actually adjust it before a game. The gun also comes with an extra hop-up nub for use with heavier 0.36 and above BBs. Now just underneath, we have a really nice tactile ambidextrous rotary fire selector that really does work quite well. The MDRX also comes with a semi-auto only replacement trigger board, just in case you are at a site that requires DMRs to be semi-auto only or out of personal preference. Right next to that, we have the magazine release. But in addition to the two mag releases just above the trigger over here, we also have a third one located right next to the magazine itself, right along the center line that can be easily accessed with both hands. And underneath that is the trigger, which unlike most AEGs, which lack any kind of tactile feedback, the light MDRX trigger has a little bit of mush, but a tactile click and reset upon making contact. Perfect for precise shooters that really want to have the most accurate possible shots. Now to change the battery, push out these two captive bolt pins right over here, and then lift this 
upper receiver to reveal an absolute beauty of a CNC aluminium gearbox with heat sinks and a full steel 18 to 1 torque gear set with a massive 26 millimeter diameter cylinder that could, with the right spring, easily push the MDR access power to a level I'm not legally allowed to talk about. Now the battery connection itself is at the back with a tiny, tiny space on top that can only fit an 11.1 volt AK stick type LiPo battery with a Dean's plug. Really, really specific. Due to the high torque motor, it's also recommended that you use a battery with a minimum C rate of at least 25 C, though 30 Cs is recommended for optimum performance. The MDRX can also run 7.4 volt batteries, though that does require the use of an included breaker to change the power settings. There is also a third power option that disables battery protection entirely, which would be useful for operating a rifle in cold weather or to pull particularly strong springs. It's also important to note that the gearbox over here does have a lot of exposed wires that could get pulled out, snagged or kinked when opening and closing the receiver. So do take extra care when changing the battery. The Silverback MDRX also includes a polymer 78 round 7.62 by 51 AR10 mid cap magazine, all helpfully labeled right over here. And it also comes with two extra springs, one lower and one higher, just so you can tailor your rifle to the sight's requirements. There's also an instruction manual and a full set of Allen keys for complete disassembly. So wow, the Silverback MDRX is shaping up to be the ultimate AEG DMR, full of features and excellent ergonomics. But how does it actually shoot? Let's head to the range and find out. And now for the chrono. As usual, we'll be firing 0.2 gram BBs. And now for the accuracy test. Here I am with the MDRX shooting at Jim Bob at a distance of 30 meters away with 0.3 gram BBs. An added bonus here is that the relatively short mag allows you to mount this on a stand, which I do find to be very convenient. So let's get to it, shall we? All right, range is hot and let's go. Wow, overall I actually found that quite impressive to shoot. You know, ergonomic wise, the MDRX is a dream. Everything around it, design wise, allows it to fit right into your hand and allows for really comfortable shooting. Sound wise though, because this is a bullpup, all the firing mechanisms and the gearbox is located right at the back over here. So you are going to hear a lot of that shooting which is louder in volume than most other AEGs. So do keep that in mind. Um, as for fire rate though, it is a bit slower, but that's only because this is being powered by an extremely high torque motor, giving this MDRX a far greater power potential than most other AEGs. And it's also a DMR anyway, so fast rate of fire isn't exactly what you're looking for. Accuracy wise, found it to be quite impressive. And we'll see more on that as we check out the target. So let's go. Wow. Okay, <laughs> check this out. Okay, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, these are quite close to each other. All right, so let's just keep it simple. So there we go. Now. Full disclosure, I was sort of debating within myself whether to include this as a flyer or not, but ultimately I decided to include it for the sake of clarity. So, but even then, it's still really accurate 
for an AEG. I mean, look at that. That's about, that's about palm size, like just excluding the fingers. So yeah, I'm really impressed, Silver Bat. That is actually really exceptional performance. Definitely makes up for the slower rate of fire and the fact that it's a bullpup for those who are not very fond of them. So yeah, very, very impressed. So aside from that, let's head back to the studio then. And we're back. So the Silverback MDRX is likely one of the most accurate AEGs we've reviewed on this channel full stop. But how does it compare to the others? It's time to rank the thing. For fun factor, we give the Silverback MDRX four out of five stars. It looks and feels great, and the accuracy helps too. It's the perfect rifle for advanced airsoft players who want free reign to customize their rifle to the role they want. The downside is the very specific battery requirements, and the housing might be difficult for newer players. Realism is an impressive 4.5 stars out of 5. The Silverback MDRX is dimensionally accurate to the real thing, and is fully licensed with legitimate Desert Tech markings. The only downside is it isn't a GBB, hence the non-functional charging handle and bolt release. On performance, we give the Silverback MDRX an excellent 4.5 out of 5 stars. It has excellent accuracy, making it an ideal DMR, and the ambidextrous ergonomics make it easy and comfortable to use. The optional springs also allow you to customize your rifle to be as powerful as you need it to be. Rate of fire is a little bit slower, but as a DMR suited to higher powers, that's not as big of an issue as in other guns. Build quality gets 4 stars out of 5. As mentioned before, the externals are made as close as possible to the real thing, and it shows on how this AEG looks, feels, and functions. Value-wise, at $550, US the Silverback MDRX AEG is not a cheap gun, but it does offer good performance and plenty of customizable options for players out there, earning it a pretty substantial 4 out of 5 stars for value. Collectability-wise, this replica earns an easy 4 out of 5 stars. This MDRX is the only one of its kind in Airsoft and is fully licensed by Desert Tech. That being said, it's not a limited run, so I'm pretty sure you'll be seeing quite a few more of these rifles out there on the field. Overall, we give the Silverback MDRX AEG an outstanding 4 stars out of 5. It has excellent ergonomics and accuracy that makes it an ideal DMR to use out there on the field. So let's hand it over to you guys. What are your thoughts on the Silverback MDRX? Let us know in the comments section below. And for these cool products and many more, visit us at www.redwolfairsoft.com. This is Andrew, callsign Flood, out. <laughs> <laughs>